Hi everybody, and today I need to change the locks on a UPVC door. Now, I've never done this before, so I did a quick Google on the internet and found out these are a standard type of lock, it's called a Euro Cylinder. So, we can buy these quite easily from anywhere. So, let's have a look. First of all, we need to open the door. And in order to order the correct lock, we need to measure the distance from the screw here. Right, this screw here is the one that you use to remove the lock. And we need to measure from the front of the handle here, to the centre screw, and from the centre screw to the back of the handle here. Now, both of these are not necessarily the same uh, size, and quite often they aren't, so you need to make sure you measure it properly. Now, one thing to note with this particular lock is it sticks out way too much. Um, that's about 5mm sticking out. That means it's actually easy for those to snap these locks off. That is a common problem with these, they can easily be broken. So, you do not want to have them sticking out, you want to have them flush basically with the handle here. So, we need to measure from here to here. I've got the calipers, let's get them set up. Okay. So we're looking at 33.8 millimetres. Now they're not actually available in 33 millimetres, so what we need to do is round up, not down. If we round down, it's going to sit inside there and we want to turn the key freely. So we're going to stick out by just one or two millimetres. So we'll go for a 35 millimetre, and that's external size. Now we need to measure the internal size. This is a little tricky and sharp. So just a second while I get this right. Yeah, so that is... Just under 43 millimetres, so that's 42. Uh, less critical for safety on the inside, but again, this one's sticking out too far. We want a couple of millimetres, so we're going to go for 45 millimetres on the inside. So we need to order a lock 35 external, 45 internal, and that should give us what we need. Right, so here's an old lock right here. As you can see, this is a screw, this is how it goes through from the frame of the door. Very centre part here. This is the external part, this is the internal part. When you turn the key, this latch here sticks out and basically makes it so the handle can't move. Now what criminals apparently are doing is they're basically breaking off the lock and then they're using a screwdriver to then turn and release this. So, there are new types of locks. Um, I mean, I, I've never used this brand before. This is uh, ABS. Um, so apparently these are really good, I did lots of research and this seems to be the right one to get. Now if you look here, this is the external section, marked by EXT, and it has like a sacrificial line here, so if this is snapped off, it basically remains locked. Um, there's, there's various safety features on this particular lock. As I said, I did some research and these seem to be really good. Again, I've not used it yet, so only time will tell. Um, they were easily priced and I think these should do the job nicely. Now the thing to look out for apparently, is this kite mark and the three stars. That's a TS-007 triple star racing. These are about as good as they get. The other racing is the Sold Secure. And this lock has both of those. So this should, in theory, be very good. Let's just compare the size. So, as you can see, it's significantly shorter, this one. So I'm expecting it to fit a lot better and not overhang as much. Let's go over to the door and try and fit it now. Okay, in order to fit the lock we need to put the key in so it can turn freely and we can basically move this locking tab out of the way. That's basically how it works, this locking tab here stops the handle from being depressed. So in theory, this will just slide into the mechanism. Um, there's a new screw, new screw with it here. So we use that, what we do is we just put a bit of this super lube, this is a Teflon based lubricant. Put a little bit of that on the threads and it'll basically mean it'll never seize up if we ever need to take this lock out again. So let's go to the door. Okay, so we undo this screw here. The old lock, we put the key in so we can basically wiggle it out. Now the lock. We don't seem to have this in the right position. There we go. So you've got to just turn the key till it releases it. Old lock is out. Let's grab the new one. Remember to put it the right way. So this section here with the sacrificial part, and it's labelled EXT, that is obviously the external side. Hmm. Seems it wants a little bit of wiggling. There we go. Look at that. Almost perfectly flush. It actually worked out really well. 
Brilliant. Okay, let's put the screw in there. Okay, so the screw is in, the lock is in, it fits really nicely. It's flush so people can't grab hold of these with mole grips easily and try and rip it off. Obviously they can break off the handle, but this makes it a lot more difficult for them. Same on the inside, inside is not as important. External size is most important, get that as flush as you can. Now, seems quite nice this lock. It's got a two-sided key. Looks like a car key rather than a normal lock key. Very nice mechanism. The only thing that's a bit weird is in the removal position, the lock is horizontal. Now, every lock I've ever seen, they're normally vertical, so it's going to get some taking used to, basically release the key in the right place. It does have a little notch to make it easy to find that position. But I say it just takes some getting used to. Oh, it's windy out there. So, let's test out the door. Seems to work. Seems to work nicely, there you go, job done. Nothing exciting I'm afraid, but it's something I needed to do before I'd film it just in case anyone was wondering how you check the correct size of your lock. Hope you found this useful, thanks very much.